Whether you like it or not, the winter season is right around the corner. Every year, Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orpert brings you his winter weather forecast. Here's what he's thinking for this winter season. Each year I do my winter forecast based on the natural signs. Whether it be woolly worms or squirrels tails or hornet's nests high in the sky, corn husks and so much more. All of those make the foundation of my winter forecast. I also look at some more esoteric indicators as well, like the phase of the moon and the long range movement of the moon. You know, it really is fascinating how the moon might influence precipitation. I also take a look at some scientific information, not a lot, but some. I take a look at sea surface temperatures and the way the atmosphere is circulating around the Earth. And I also look at Wabash Valley winter weather history. What I found this year is that there's a big difference between what the signs are saying and what the science is saying. The signs say, look for a snowy, cold winter. The science, maybe not so much. So I decided to ask some people which they trust more, the signs or the science. I like the signs. Signs. How about you? Uh, signs. Ah. Well, signs are not. I continue to believe that the science can give us a really good clue about what to expect for the coming winter. So my winter forecast this year is based a lot on the signs with just a little bit of science. So if you're looking for a winter that's going to be cold and snowy, you're probably not going to get it. That doesn't mean we're not going to have cold and snow, just won't be all that consistent. So here is my month by month forecast. This year's winter will be warmer than average with below average precipitation, and that means below average snowfall. We'll have occasional cold snaps, but don't expect extended periods of cold. December. December temperatures will be above average and precipitation below average. The month starts chilly, but then turns mild. It can be breezy around the 9th, followed by rain. Flurries are possible around the 15th, but the best chance of accumulating snow will be near the 19th, then colder. And that means we could have a white Christmas. The month ends with flurries and breezy. January. January temperatures will be near average and precipitation also near average. New Year starts cloudy, but rather mild, then a chance of showers. Keep an eye on the second week of January when snow and wind will be possible, followed by the coldest air of the season around the 18th. The month ends sunny, mild, and breezy. February. February's temperatures will be above average with precipitation near average. The month starts mild and clear, meaning the groundhog could see his shadow. Then warmer, followed by wind, a chance of snow, and colder. Look for some snow flurries around the 16th, then breezy. Warmer air moves in around the 23rd, and we'll have to keep an eye on the last few days of the month for possible thunderstorms. To summarize, temperatures this winter will be above average. Average snowfall is about 18 inches and will be below that. The second half of January will deliver the best chance of snow and cold. And while we'll have occasional cold snaps, we probably won't have any days below zero. I do this forecast every year partly to honor my grandmother who first taught me how to look at the signs to make a forecast and also partly to just have some forecasting fun. I want to tell you, don't take this forecast too seriously because whether it be science or signs, nobody really knows what's going to be happening this winter. And actually that's kind of what makes weather so magical. For Storm Team 10, I'm Kevin Orford.